Welcome back to the final segment of today's program here on the Taiwan Outlook. I'm your host, Ray Guo. Mr. Bonneville, I know that you have been in Taiwan for about a year and a half now. Can you then share with us some of your observations of Taiwan? The first thing which struck me is the, the fact that Taiwan is a very open society, mm -hmm. uh, having a living a democratic life okay. uh, and a very, very high standard of living. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, the other fact that struck uh, my wife and I was the, uh, how to say, a very welcoming character of the mm -hmm. Taiwanese people, okay. which is uh, something which we did not encounter in uh, other, other countries, parts, yes. other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. and which is quite an asset of Taiwan. People mm -hmm. are very, very nice, very helpful, mm -hmm. uh, and they welcome foreigners, mm -hmm. and this is quite comforting. Yes, and uh, what were the other aspects that you've discovered about Taiwan? For example, you, you know, came from France. You know, I mean, France is well-known for food, and uh, Taiwanese is also very well-known for Taiwanese food, but the, you know, the food, you know, the taste, the cuisines are very different. How did you find that you know adjustment easy or difficult or is still in process? <laughs> uh, it was rather easy because, okay. of course, we met a number of Taiwanese who okay. became our friends and who uh, introduced us to uh, the Local richness. Cuisine. Yes. Okay. Uh, the richness of the Taiwanese culture. And okay. I would say that I even had a few ideas mm -hmm. on how to promote uh, Taiwanese culture abroad. For instance, okay. the way we do in France uh, uh, wine tourism. Yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we organize tours of chateaus in yes. the Bordeaux region, etc., mm -hmm. which is quite a cultural, gastronomical mm -hmm. event. Uh, the same could be organized here, for instance, with tea, ah, because yes. tea is quite an asset uh, of of, uh, yeah. Taiwan and Taiwanese mm -hmm. agriculture yes. and uh, the Taiwanese are very proud of yes. their uh, tea, its varieties, mm -hmm. uh, its different tastes mm -hmm. and the same type of cultural thing could be arranged. Okay. Uh, another thing which struck us also is the beauty uh, of uh, Taiwan, the na natural beauty I would okay. say, because it is quite a diversified exactly. uh, yes. island yes. Uh, with high mountains but mm -hmm. also the sea, okay. uh, very deep valleys mm -hmm. and remote places quite, uh, quite unexpected because the uh, total surface uh, uh, of the uh, the island is not so great, you know, okay. it's uh, only as large as Holland or Switzerland, okay. yes. uh, but uh, it is so compartmented that the variety is very, very wide. Rich, yes. yes. Uh, have you had the opportunities of traveling throughout the island in the last year and a half? Yes, uh, first professionally, I yes. uh, uh, travel myself, yes, yes, travel and want uh, once a month to go to one of the major cities okay. uh, to meet the local authorities. Okay and uh, representatives of the French community and mm -hmm. business. So okay. I went to most cities. Okay. But as a tourist, I would say, uh, my children came here a few oh, really? times okay, and with good. them we took, uh, yes, around uh, the them island? to around the island, mm -hmm. to Taidong, Hualien, even to Alishan, okay. uh, when there was still, uh, you know, the small train going up there, okay. which is not, the, unfortunately, the case anymore. So, so we did uh, okay. do all that and uh, we did it without, you know, inter Interpreters, or just on, your own. just on our own, okay. to be able to mingle with the people. Okay. And let me ask you: Do you have a favorite place or a favorite food? If you have a favorite one, you're welcome to share with us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the favorite place, I would say, I quite enjoyed Alishan, Alishan. which is, yes, okay. very, very nice. And yes. we, uh, uh, even uh, very early in the morning, rose yeah. up around 3.30 to yes. go see the clouds, and, uh, yes. see the clouds and the sun rising. Mm -hmm. uh, in an, um, you know, mixed also in the uh, sea, a yeah. number of people who were along with us. And it of was course. quite an experience yes. and having people being so nice, you know, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. with us. So it was a very, very nice experience. Yes. And also, Mr. Bonneville, I learned from your bio that y on your previous assignments, you've been assigned to uh, Japan. And of course, you've been in Taiwan for a year and a half now, that you know there is also a strong Japanese cultural presence in Taiwan today. How would you then compare your experiences and observations that you pick up in Japan as to those that you pick up in Taiwan? 
I would say that, uh, as you mentioned, uh, there are very good reminiscences yes. of uh, Japan here. It is probably due to history, probably yes. due also to geography. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so this is a, a, a thing which, of course, uh, in a way moved uh, us, my wife and I, because mm -hmm. uh, in a way we felt like being in a familiar place. Mm -hmm. For instance, the hot springs and these kind of things, which yes. are quite common. Yeah. Uh, here uh, in Taiwan, and, 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 and which are peculiar only to Japan or Taiwan. <laughs> yes. uh, and so uh, uh, there is also, I would say, something more unexpected, which is the uh, social behavior of the mm. people, okay. uh, which is more uh, like the Japanese, you mm. know, in the social organization, exactly. courtesy, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so also this is quite reminiscent of yes. Japan. Mm -hmm. And also in your previous, your assignments that you have had the opportunity of traveling throughout many parts of Asia. How would you then compare what you have picked up in other parts of Asia uh, to the experiences that you had in Japan and Taiwan? I would say that uh, Taiwan is, uh, in a way, a depository of a number of uh, cultural uh, yes. currents and trends mm -hmm. uh, from Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, due to uh, the strong influence of the uh, Aboriginal peoples, yeah, of course. Uh, there is a, a very good representation of Malayo-Polynesian okay. uh, people. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, there is a strong cultural uh, Chinese influence, mm -hmm. and also, as I mentioned, earlier, mm -hmm. uh, uh, very good and still uh, perceptible uh, Japanese influence. Yes. Uh, and on the religious point of view also, mm -hmm. uh, there is, uh, uh, you know, a mixture of yes. Yes, Christianity, Buddhism, yeah, uh, traditional, yes. Yes, traditional cults, etc. Yeah. Like Taoism. And, also Taoism. Yes. and so this is, uh, uh, how to say, uh, very good uh, uh, kaleidoscope of yeah, Japanese, yeah. of, uh, excuse me, uh, mm. Asian cultures, yes. uh, which are in a way concentrated mm. uh, here on this island. Yes, and uh, let's look ahead, uh, Mr. Bonneville. What are some of the, you know, plans or events that's in the works that will help further promote the relationship between France and Taiwan? You know, and uh, anything in particular uh, for the remainder of the year, for example, that your office will concentrate on to help promote the relationship? In uh, several months' time, uh, okay. maybe around the end of next year, there okay. will be a major exhibition organized together by the National Palace Museum and, and the uh, Chateau de Versailles, which oh, was yes, the, uh, the palace, uh, yeah. palace of our kings mm -hmm. in the uh, old regime, yes. uh, and they will, will organize a, a common exhibition on uh, Kangxi and Louis XIV. Oh, okay. uh, so it will be a very good uh, yeah. opportunity yes. to show uh, the apex of civilization, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, on, on in East Asia and in Europe, mm -hmm. and it will be a very, very good way mm -hmm. uh, to uh, strengthen and promote cooperation between France and Taiwan. Okay, and also I may ask you that Mr. Bonneville, uh, on a personal level, uh, as a foreigner in a, in a new country, you've never been to Taiwan before your assignment this time, or you've been here the briefly? First, yes, uh, only a few days, but okay. it, it was uh, actually my first time. Yes. Okay, yes. good. And uh, you know, as a foreigner coming to Taiwan, or, you know, a, a foreign place, that uh, what would be your recommendations you know, to our viewers who are watching our program today? Maybe that we can make Taiwan, you know, even based on the traditional Taiwanese hospitality, that even made Taiwan more internationally accessible, more open to further visiting you know, foreigners from all over the world. The advice I gave uh, to a number of my interlocutors wa okay. was to develop uh, the infrastructures for okay. tourists okay. Uh, because uh, I would say uh, we do not find always here uh, what you know foreign tourists would expect. Yeah. Uh, for instance, you have beautiful beaches and uh, landscapes mm -hmm. on the Pacific coast yes. and they are not exploited at no. all for tourism. And no. I am sure that uh, tourists 
tourists would come, you know, for this, uh, to enjoy a few days or two, three weeks uh, in those locations mm -hmm. uh, in a surrounding of uh, the richness of the mm. traditional Taiwanese culture, which I mentioned, you know, on the, the basis of uh, Aboriginal culture, mm -hmm. uh, tea growing and the, all the uh, culture which goes around it. Mm -hmm. uh, I am sure that would be a very good way to promote uh, the image and the tourism okay. uh, in, in uh, this island. Okay. Uh, so I hope that my advice will be followed because I think it could be a very, very good way. Okay. And finally, Mr. Bonneville, this is a question that you cannot possibly give the wrong answer to. I will try. <laughs> yes. This is the year of the World Cup. Yes. Which team are you rooting for? Oh, well, France, of course. <laughs> yes. And are you a football fan? Do you follow the sport? Well, uh, not really. I'm okay. rather a rugby fan. A rugby when fan. I was okay. a kid in high school, I was in the rugby team of okay. my school. And I participated in uh, uh, tournaments, etc. Yes. So yes. I rather follow rugby okay. than uh, football. Okay. But, well, I know that football is the most yes. popular sport. Yes. Uh, and uh, it is a great opportunity for South Africa to yes. organize this uh, to World, World Cup. Stage. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what I hope is that the French team, which is uh, training now, mm -hmm. uh, which will start its training in a few days, yeah. uh, will fare well. Yes. But you know, it's I'm a sure. question of uh, how to say uh, uh, personal capacity of yes. the players, etc. It's also not the really teamwork. A, uh, yes, teamwork, yeah. and not uh. not really a question of nationality. So no. I hope that the best wins. <laughs> yes, I uh, also think that you know uh, France has traditionally done very well in the World Cup, and just what uh, two tournaments ago that you won the World Cup, yes. right? So uh, certainly hope uh, not only you know, the team France, but also everything. You know, regarding your home country, all the best. And also to you personally and professionally for all your endeavors in the future will be successful. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank you for watching our program today. I'll see you next time on Macroview Television. Thank you.